Hi, it's Brad Griffith. Welcome to my YouTube channel, Craft Stick Crafts, where we show shop tips and tricks, all sorts of things we're doing with basswood craft sticks of all kinds. There's like a little uh, lost in space vehicle we're making with some tank tracks from basswood. I'm going to get back to that. So this video specifically is about a response from Dremel to their customers. What would you do with our 2-in-1 tool, the Dremel Moto Saw, if you had it? So this is a project here. Where it go? Here we go. <clears throat> I'm uh, gonna go, going to be volunteering at the Port Townsend Wooden Boat Festival in their kids booth to inspire young minds to, uh, to become shipwrights and other uh, trades in the shipbuilding industry. And uh, I've been asked to make some toy boats. And so this little guy here was made from bass wood. We bent around something and then filled in the deck. But we're supersizing that project to a yacht and a quick show and tell we bent tilt tilt another okay um, <clears throat> we bent the hull of the ship around a spaghetti container to make that shape, dried it, and then we bent the ribs of the ship around the ship shape so that we you know, knew everything fit. And then we did a lot of measuring, figuring, and made the deck plate is going to go into here. Now these boats that I'm building would not be ones that the kids would be able to build on site. They're more or less a show and tell from my uh, my booth and shop tips and tricks. But what we do from there, you can see this is a this is one of the ribs that we use to hold up the ship. But what we're making now is the, the cabin part of the ship. And what I would use their 2-in-1 Dremel Moto Saw for is uh, from here to here, all this is going to be built from that piece. I'll show you. And then we need to cut through all these windows. There's a little doorway. And uh, make that shape with their two-in-one tool. So um, it's two-in-one because it it sits, mounts, clamps to the table and then you can take that piece out and cut it with your hand saw, like a hand saw. But um, what we did here is we're bending the cabin. This is going to be the cabin shape and it's going to rest on the deck. It's a little hard to see now with all the clamps, but we uh, made a, uh, a form just out of two by fours and uh, some paint sticks, and we bent it around. Um, actually, we bent it around a Elmer's glue container. Um, little plug for Elmer's to get this shape here, and we use the. Uh, new formula wood glue it's kind of the yellow glue that works the best but then once that shape was dry and formed we are adding more width to the cabin so we stuffed some yard sticks actually paint sticks in there so the first set is one and the second set is two and once we get that pushed out That'll make the cabin bigger, but it won't make it bigger unless you wet the wood again and let it dry. So, I'll give you a little show on that. 
So basically, we formed it, dried it, one shape. Then we formed it, and we're going to wet it and let it dry another shape so that the cabin part will be wider at the back, at the stern of the ship. Oh, if you can see, there we go. This is one.